Imon, you you are part of this exhibition dedicated to the to Beirut in the 60s. So you you arrived there around 68, 67, 68. And so what was happening there in terms of art? What 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 was the magic? The magic was that um suddenly painting has become uh, the real topic of the city. Uh, whereas before, we had only one gallery called Gallery One. Galleries were opening all over. We had three openings per night. And you know, it's a small city. And we had to run from one to the other. It was very vibrant. Uh, we had 13 newspapers. Mm. 13 newspapers, dailies, in Arabic, two in French, one in English, one in Armenian. And can you imagine the, 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 and in those newspapers, all the writers and poets of Arabic language were employed and wrote about culture. Wow. So it was extremely important and interesting. And you were painting abstraction. Yes, I started painting in 67 mm -hmm. and I was painting uh, first uh, trees and then from there new, the landscape that was from my window but in an abstracted fashion. And, um, and I painted for 10 years and it was really so interesting as i said you know just it was new you had this uh, uh, energy energy that it was new and you had painters from all over the arab world who lived there from like palestine who? from uh, iraq from syria uh, from egypt and also uh, galleries were showing painters from Tunisia, Algeria, wow. yes, so it was, and then we had the um, Biennale in uh, Iraq, in um, <clears throat> Baghdad in 74, and all these painters knew each other, met each other. It was a, a moment in history for all the Arab world. So who was there around? Well, practically all the painters who were Show, who are shown now in Lyon mm -hmm. were very much the stars of the day. Arif Raiz, Rafiq Sharaf, uh, Juliana Serafin, Helen Khal, Huguette Calon. Uh, Huguette Calon is fascinating. Yes, she also was starting, but she had a big show in this new gallery called Contact Gallery. And um, Etel? Etel was then, Etel had, had just come back from the US and she was working as a cultural editor in mm. one of those newspapers. Then she moved to the other newspaper, as I said, there were two French language newspaper dailies, where she held the critic of painting. So around yeah. Etel, and of course me by the same to token, we met all the painters who wanted her to write about them. So it was a real, uh, a real vortex, if I can say. Yes. And I was also doing the, cult the, the critic of painting in a radio program. Mm. And so we were both very sought after by the other painters. And, uh, and it was vibrant, as I said. And uh, I, Etel and I never said anything wrong about our colleagues. I would just describe, if I didn't like their work, mm. describe what they were doing. It was up to the viewer to decide. And when, do, when did you decide to shift to to sculpture? So I left Be Beirut in 1980 mm -hmm. after having painted for 10 years, and I went to the US, to California. But the move was so traumatic that I stopped painting. And after a year of 
feeling my way about, I started a publishing house, a literary publishing house. And then when I felt that the publishing house was doing it okay, I went back to school to do sculpture, to do ceramic sculpture. And then I didn't paint for 10 years, uh, another 10 years. <laughs> and so uh, I worked on the sculpture from there on. And today you keep on painting? I, I, I do paint from time to time, yes. It, and I do very different work than I used to do then. Okay. Merci. Merci à toi.